my lovelies, it's Margaret, and I am here to nerd out about Hidden Figures by Margot Lee Shetterly. So this review is probably going to be real short and sweet, but I couldn't, I couldn't not talk about this book on my channel because I absolutely adored it. It will probably be the only nonfiction book that I review this year, but again, I just enjoyed it that much. You might have seen the movie Hidden Figures last year when it came out. If you haven't, you should go see it because it's a fantastic movie. However, it is not quite historically accurate as most movies are wont to do. But if you want all the history, this is the book to read. It's about Dorothy Vaughn, Katherine Johnson, Mary Jackson, and Christine Darden, who is actually not mentioned at all in the movie. Uh, and has a very small part to play kind of at the end of the book, so I'm not going to talk about her too much. It follows the lovely ladies who were part of the West Computing Group at NASA and helped usher in the space age. Now, I really like this book because it starts at the very beginning. The movie very much felt like it was definitely focused on Catherine, which is a an obvious choice to make when you're doing a movie. It's a lot more difficult to have multiple main protagonists. So usually you have one main protagonist and then a few side protagonists, which Mary Jackson and Dorothy Vaughn got kind of pigeonholed into those two side protagonists because the the work because the work that they were focusing on was what Katherine Johnson did. But this was a very like I say this a lot about books like this, but it was an eye-opening read, especially since this covered a part of civil rights history that I personally was not alive for. Um, but my parents were alive for parts of this um, and I've heard stories from my parents about some of the stuff that happened in this so that was really a really interesting connection. Now I would say that if you are not a fast reader or if you have a little bit of trouble reading more wordy books I would suggest getting this on audiobook. I know my library has it on audiobook. I almost I almost got it but then I was so close to the end I was like I'm just gonna finish this thing. Um, because this took me a long time to finish. I kept needing to read other stuff, and then it had to go back to the library. Um, and then once I turned it back into it, it's a whole bunch of excuses, but basically it was like one of those books that I started, I was really interested in, had to put down, and then when I put it down, my interest kind of waned, and so I was reading other stuff. But I wholeheartedly enjoyed this. I really, okay, one of the things I do want to talk about is I really enjoyed the actual story of how they desegregated the bathrooms at NASA. Because in the movie, obviously, you have Kevin Costner's character who does this whole big white savior move and tears down the sign and blah, blah, blah. Um, and in the book, at least, it talks about the fact that Katherine Johnson, she was in a completely different part where, like, segregation wasn't as obvious. Basically, the bathrooms there were not labeled because who needs to label a bathroom that only white people are going to use? And so Catherine Goebel was just like, yeah, I'm just going to use this bathroom. And then by the time that she realized that it was supposed to be a whites-only bathroom, she was just like, I'm not going to stop using this bathroom. I love that. I love that it put the power back in her. And then no one, no one wanted to tell her that she wasn't supposed to. You have this really interesting juxtaposition in this book about what's going on in the general civil rights movement and desegregation of the country and kind of how places are having to be forcefully desegregated, especially like in Virginia where they live. And then you have NASA, which um, is segregated, but as a, as a necessity because they have such a specialized field and it's very much a meritocracy. And so it kind of just gets desegregated to an extent, obviously not quite like by the end of this book, they hadn't even had a black astronaut um, yet, but they were, you know, people were pushing in that direction, but it just kind of the, the desegregation at NASA started because it was a necessity. Um, and it was recognized by the people at NASA as a necessity to desegregate. Anyways, this book was a fantastic look at history. It was not just a, a explanation of what was going on at NASA, but it was also an intimate look at the lives of people who worked at NASA who were pretty much overlooked by history because uh, as a as a result of the times that this happened in. I would hope that we never have stories that go unknown like this for so long. Obviously a a fact of history that not everyone has remembered, but I am glad that I got to experience the lives of these, th these four women, including Christine, and that I got to be a part of their world for the little bit that I was reading this book. So that's it for my review of Hidden Figures. Don't forget to let me know down below if you have read this book or seen the movie ask questions if you're thinking about reading the book. I, again, I highly recommend it. Even if you're not necessarily a fan of nonfiction, I feel like this is a little bit different type of nonfiction. It is definitely a story. It's not like, oh, this boring book with facts. 
Although there are some boring facts in it, I won't lie. But it's definitely a story and it's a really well-crafted story. If you enjoyed this review, make sure that you subscribe either at my YouTube channel or over at my website, www.thewordnerd.com. Don't forget that is a three in the word nerd instead of an E. I am also on Instagram and Twitter as the word nerd, again with that three instead of the E, so don't forget to check me out there. All right guys, I will see you later when we will talk about more wordy, nerdy things. Bye!